Hey everyone, I want to thank you for joining us on the Semper Gumby channel. Now, if you got a spare tire or you don't have a spare tire and your tire is running low, how do you get air into these tires, especially some oversized tires? Now, we all been to those air stations at the gas at the gas pumps where you have to put 75 cents or a dollar in there pump up your tires and get them done really quick before the compressor shuts off. But one option, and I'm gonna cover it today, are air compressors. And this one's right here is a 100 PSI air compressor and got it Harbor Freight. And I pumped up a couple tires with these, especially on my other vehicle when my tire was running low. The only drawback is you have to have a 12 volt power source. And if you don't have a 12 volt power source, then you can use a lithium ion power generator like a Jackery or Blue Eddy or something like that. The other drawback to this is if your cigarette ladder is in the front and your rear tire is the one that needed air, like on my Ram, there's no way this cord will uh, reach back there. Now I'm a big advocate of redundancy. So I carry this in my truck along with the next item I'm going to show you. But like I said, the only drawback is that you need a 12 volt source. Today we're going to talk about the Fantech X8 Apex tire inflator. And this little bad boy is cordless and rechargeable. What? rechargeable that's what that's what you heard me say rechargeable and something in this little compact design where you can throw in your glove compartment your center console in the back in the bag we're going to put it through the test and see if we can charge up these 35 inch tires now this inflator is an air compressor and it's two times faster for inflation they say it's fairly fast it, powers up to 150 PSI. It's a cordless inflator with dual LCDs. It's got preset buttons here and the modes, and I'll go over that in a little bit. And it's uh, suitable for cars, bicycles, motorcycles, electric bikes, and stuff like football, basketballs, and soccer ball. When you purchase your Fantec X8 Apex tire inflator, you're going to get a air tube which plugs right in or screws right in to the screw port right there, that air port. You're going to get a USB charging cable and that plugs into the back. You're going to get your needle valve adapter and you can use this for basketball, footballs, and soccer balls. And then you're gonna get your Presta valve or your Presta valve slash Schrader adapter. Now, when I say Presta valve, if you look at some of your bicycles, it's that skinny air valve, which you can twist to inflate your tires. Now, mountain bikes, some of mountain bikes have the uh, Presta valves, but you're gonna find more of the Schrader valves on car tires. They're the ones that have, you have to push in the middle, push that little valve down to deflate the tires. So those are Schrader and that adapter also comes with it. You're also going to get a Fantic cloth protection bag for the unit and with the drawstring. Now let's go over the operation of how to uh, go ahead and power on and use your X8 Apex tire inflator. So you're gonna hold the power button down for 1.5 seconds and your screen will boot up. Now, if you look at the screen, the numbers on the top is what the tire pressure is and the one on the bottom is the preset tire pressure. Now, if you hit this right button, you will see that little icon up there, that's a car. Now, it's preset at 36 PSI and if you want to change it, like for my tires, I put 40 PSI. You can go ahead and hit the plus button and go all the way to 40 PSI. After inputting the 40 PSI, you go ahead and press the start button, which is in the middle. 
Now if you hit that button again on the right, it'll go to motorcycle. And again, it's preset to 35 PSI, which you can change by using the plus or minus arrows. Then it'll go to a bicycle, which is preset at 45 PSI. And then of course, a basketball or soccer ball or football, which is preset to eight PSI. You hit that light button once, you will get a, a sort of like a LED light that you can use and see if you're in the dark. You hit it again, it'll flash SOS in case you need some help. Now to turn off the unit, just hold the middle button for about a second and everything turns off. Now on the bottom of the unit, you have two ports here. The one on the right is a USB-C type where you use for charging and it takes approximately four hours to charge up the unit to its full capacity. The left hand side is a outlet for a USB if you wanna charge up your cell phones. Um, it acts like a power bank. Now to see how much energy or battery life we've got here, there is a battery indicator on the top. Each bar indicates 25%. So right now we got about 75% of battery life in this little unit. So I let some air out of my 35 inch tires on my Ram truck. So we're gonna go ahead and inflate the tire. So you're going to take your air tube and you're going to screw it in the top at the airport here. And then you're going to go ahead and place it on the Schrader valve and screw that in or tighten the screw or cap, whatever you call it. Now I'm going to preset this to a vehicle and we're going to go ahead and put 40 psi in there all right once we got it preset go ahead and hit the power button And there you go, 40 PSI. And that took about three minutes, four minutes, but it did its job. Now, one of the reasons why I wanted a portable air compressor is I've got airbags installed in the rear of my truck and running a 12 volt extension with the compressor is an option but it could be a pain setting everything up and getting and, and it, it, it could be but having a rechargeable air compressor like the Fantic makes it a lot easier I usually keep about 10 psi in my airbags uh, based on when it's empty so we're gonna go ahead and check it see what we got in there So right now I've got nine PSI. So we're gonna go ahead and take the 10. And we got 12 PSI in there right now, 11 PSI. So that is perfect for it being empty. And just like that, adding air into my airbags is simple, fast. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video on the Fanuc X8 Apex portable tire inflator well my my thoughts on it my thoughts that it's a pretty cool thing to have in your vehicle and I'm very pleased with it it's quiet 
it's compact and most of all it uh, it's rechargeable so I don't have to worry about not having something to inflate a tire while I'm traveling or camping or being off-road so something in a small compact size like I said it's, it retails for $129 on Amazon but go ahead and check it out right now you can clip the coupon or it gives you a discount for it to be about $80 so that's a pretty substantial discount be sure to check out our affiliates blackout coffee company and black beard fire starters when you're ordering from them upon checkout use the promo code semper gumby right up here semper gumby and receive 10 percent off your entire order they're both great companies i've tried their coffee i still drink their coffee and it is unbelievable tons of flavor very good tasting and fast shipping blackbeard fire starters they have several different type of fire starters and they are amazing and they work. I carry them in the back of my truck every time I go camping and go light a fire or something. So check them out, both of them. Use the promo code SEMPERGUMBY and receive your discount. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and enjoy the rest of the day. It's beautiful out and stay tuned next time to our next video. But uh, always treat your neighbors well, look after them spend time with your family and most of all tell them that you love them and most of all no matter what life throws at you always be semper gumby